seeing how cars are hooked together to make trains. The way that railroad men climb on the cars and throw switches, and the powerful engines growling, roaring, pushing and pulling. The railroad is the home of these friendly dragons of the tracks. But trains and railroad tracks are very dangerous, and you should never play near the home of the friendly dragons. The sounds and movements of railroading have always attracted children. Watching the mighty engines move their chain of cars along the rails. But these engines and cars are powerless to protect children who come onto the railroad to play. These boys just might be among those who are crippled or killed each year by playing on railroads. They thought it would be fun to crawl under these cars. But it wasn't. And now he may lose his life, or if he's lucky, just an arm or leg. Okay, so it's dangerous to crawl under the cars, says one of the boys. Let's just climb between the cars. It's very dangerous to cross over between railroad cars because you never know when the train might move. Jimmy was almost across when these cars moved. And his foot was crushed. Because he played around the railroad, he may have to walk on one foot for the rest of his life. Playing in an empty boxcar looks like lots of fun. They're sort of like big clubhouses, or so these boys think. But sharp nails and wires stick out from the floor and walls. The heavy car doors can even break your arm or leg. Then you would have to go to the hospital and wear a cast for a long time. What if you didn't get hurt by the door closing? You might just be locked inside and shipped across the country for a week or more in darkness and without food. Boxcars are not play toys. Rushing along the rails, the friendly dragon uses these same boxcars to bring a bicycle for a boy or girl, a washing machine for mom, and a new car for dad. The powerful dragon doesn't want to hurt children, but his engineer cannot stop the train quickly. Pulling his long string of cars into the night, the friendly dragon uses his headlight to warn everyone that he cannot jump off the rails to get out of their way. Railroad men drive the big diesel dragons very carefully because they do not want to see anyone hurt. It may not look dangerous to walk on a rail when there isn't a train coming, but boys and girls have slipped and hit their heads on the tracks. Many of them learn the hard way not to walk on railroad tracks. You can also get your foot stuck in a railroad switch. Then you look down the track and there is a train coming toward you. The engineer would put on the emergency brakes, but he might not be able to stop in time. What do you think would happen? Some bridges are built to carry people and cars. Railroad bridges are just for trains, not people. On most railroad bridges, there isn't room for boys and girls to stand while a train goes by. Don't ever go on a railroad bridge because there isn't a place for you to go if a train does come. You could even fall between the railroad ties and couldn't get off of the bridge in time. Yes, there are many ways that you can get hurt on the railroad. Take these boys who wanted to see what it looks like from the top of a boxcar. If one of them were to fall, he would be hurt for a long, long time. It's fun to jump, and jumping from one boxcar to another looks like fun too. But if a locomotive should suddenly move one of the cars... Look out! The same could happen to you. These boys weren't thinking when they put a rock on the track to see what would happen to it. A train can be knocked off the tracks, even by such a small thing as a rock. Never put anything on the railroad tracks. 
This rock hurt somebody. A railroad man's work car crashed and sent him to the hospital. You wouldn't put a rock on the tracks if it would hurt your dad. Always stay away from railroad cars, especially cabooses. Don't do like these children. They found a railroad fusee, a special kind of flare, and just wanted to see how it worked. Mary is not nearly as pretty as she once was. Her face is scarred with burns from the fusee. Her brother Mike hasn't been able to see since he lit the flare. He may never see again. It's very important for railroad trains to run on time and move safely. Railroads carry many valuable items, sometimes in trailers that ride on railroad cars called piggyback cars. When it's time for the trailers to be lifted off of the railroad cars, the trailers are quickly driven to the store, unloaded, and the goods put on the shelves for all of us to buy. That's one of the reasons railroads are so important to America. That's why it's important for you to stay clear of the railroad tracks. On the tracks near their school, these boys have found a railroader's special signal that is attached to the rail. When an engine runs over the signal, it lets the engineer know that he must slow down. But Pete took the signal just for fun. And look what happened. This train wreck may have killed an engineer, fireman, or brakeman, maybe all of them, just because Pete took the signal off of the track. On the way home, Pete decided to find out what was inside of the thing he took off the track. He tried to open it by hitting it with a hammer. When Pete hit it, it exploded, and he lost his hand, and will not be able to play ball for a long time. Now, there are lots of good things to throw. Footballs, baseballs, basketballs. But these young boys have thrown rocks and hit a train window and hurt this boy and girl's mother and dad. They've been injured by the careless actions of a couple of guys who probably will be arrested. How would you have liked it if it had been your mother and dad who had been hurt? Here are two older fellows who broke the lock on a switch just to see how it worked. Then they left the switch so that the next train would go on the wrong track. This express train is now going to hit this tank car full of gasoline. Because the boys threw the switch, it's going to crash and kill the two railroad men in the engine. The railroad is not a playground. Playing on railroad tracks, boxcars, and bridges playing with switches, flares, and signal lights can be very dangerous. What happened to these boys and girls does not have to happen to you. Do not play around railroad tracks and equipment. Railroading is an important part of America's history. Famous people like Buffalo Bill, Casey Jones, and Abraham Lincoln once worked for railroads. Railroads will help shape America's space age future. Motion pictures and interesting books can tell you about modern railroading. Another good way to learn is model railroading. Find out about railroading the safe way by building and running your own trains. And be the friendly dragon's helper by warning other children about how dangerous it is to play on the railroad.